Yes, guys, we are finally back. We finally made it to the very first out of two reactions. I'll be jumping on this uh, YouTube platform. Welcome to this year, uh, Mr. Lix Reacts channel, brothers and sisters. Also, tune in to BRBP TV a bit later on, where I'll be jumping another excerpt, brothers and sisters. I think that one concerns electoral reform. And of course, a number of persons, including myself, wanted to know what's happening with the electoral reform. And of course, we're going to give another excerpt in that regard. So you can definitely tune in to BRBP TV a bit later on today, around 5 30, around that time. Check it out. And of course, we'll be jumping that banger right there but of course welcome to another vibrations brothers and sisters don't forget to click the like button i would appreciate that and of course subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through right there and then big up all the masses out large all over the place right there i do appreciate every single one of you guys and without a further ado brothers and sisters also i'll be jumping another one on this year channel a bit later on so tune in for that as well hopefully Yes, brothers and sisters, hopefully I'll be jumping another one a bit later on today, so tune in for that right there. Anyways, without further ado, let us get into the vibrations for today right there. Now, guys, I received this video today, actually, from the very individual themselves, I believe it is. And, of course, it is entitled, Monthly Expenses Doesn't Stand a Chance Next to Monthly Wages in Dominica. And this individual is about to break that down for us. Hopefully, I have not seen this video yet. But I want to give my authentic and true reaction when it comes down to this situation right there, brothers and sisters. You know I rule already. And of course, with that said, let us get into the vibes today, man. Monthly expenses and monthly wages are not adding up in Dominic Okay, let's, let's take a listen. Hi, guys. Hey, what's up? How I'm you doing? I'm making this review to address the reason why I said Dominic Club will not only less 14 persons living there and they have poverty as well. Well... I think less fortunate and poverty coincide with each other when it comes to Dominica. It's unfortunate that that, that 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 actually is the case, but the economy is the one responsible for that. And who's in charge of the economy? The government of Dominica is in charge. And as a result of that, brothers and sisters, you have a failing society. Failing society produces what? Failing people, brothers and sisters. For which is rather interesting, the very people are the ones who are put in the, pos <laughs> the government in positions to do things for themselves. It is always an interesting turn of events when it comes down to these situations right there. Anyways, let's continue. You're working an entire month to get a salary of a thousand four, or a thousand three, or a thousand two. If you get that, brothers and sisters, you are one of the blessed individuals, one of the blessed individuals in Dominica. Because to get a thousand, two thousand, four thousand, five hundred dollars in Dominica is indeed a blessing, brothers and sisters, right there. Of course, actually, did a budgeting thing for for a friend of mine yesterday, and of course, man. I tell you, it's, bro, it can be tough, we. And brothers and sisters, sometimes you have to try your best to see if you can get multiple jobs to even meet the requirements, to even have a little savings. In fact, the goal that, that, that my, my friend is starting with is to try to save at least $206.50 per month. Out of all the expenses, that is the necessities that she has there. Hopefully, you know, things don't fluctuate too much or hopefully things can fluctuate to the point where things go down and not up and then having the ability to save a little few extra dollars for the month. It's very interesting how tight it can be in Dominica on the basis of that. And we're talking about um, um, this person making about a thousand four to save about two hundred and six dollars. That is very interesting. Right there, let's continue. Whichever one it may be. No. Social Security will deduct from your salary, mm. which mostly you'll be, most likely be 90 something dollars. Mm. So you're going to live, be left with a thousand free and five dollars. No. So that's Social Security. I social Security is gone. You don't even get that money. You're hoping to get that money after you get old. That's very interesting right here. First of all, why is Social Security taking money from individuals? Don't you have a choice to say, you know what? I don't want to pay Social Security. I want to save my monies instead. And it's interesting. I heard an individual speaking about that same sentiment. Why should I send my monies to Social Security? Yes, later down, I'll get it back in bits and pieces. But I can take that same monies that I'm sending to Social Security and put it in bonds and stocks. The individuals in the United States understand what I'm talking about. You put that things inside there every month, you're doing these things. And by the time you're ready to receive that money, when you reach 55, not the end of retirement, 55, 60 years, brothers and sisters, 
based on the estimates of what you put in very minimum about a hundred dollars you can you can get about 1.6 million dollars 1.6 million dollars this is why i was telling people about the 401k well that's the united states right there 401k only gives you a portion back of the amount of money you put in you know so in other words they're making percentage on your money and they're giving you a fraction of it back and it happens to become like 400 and something dollars more or less brothers and sisters so imagine you doing that for yourself you will get the full money instead of it's always interesting i know social security is like a backup plan so to speak but then again we hear in the dumb it's it's alleged that the government has taken money from social security and so when the government does these things and <laughs> boy, and what if the government cannot pay back? But then again, they put any stress on the people to pay it back. The very people who pay in social security have to then put pay. Boy, that is something else. We just like I mentioned the same thing, same thing with the bank. The government will allegedly take money from social security. Then guess who has to pay it back? The people, the very people that are already paying social security. <laughs> it's interesting how they look that thing back, man. It's interesting. Anyways, let's continue. One thousand three hundred five dollars left. You have your renting. Mm. You don't have your own home. You're renting from somebody. That's so why sometimes you have to go and stay back with mommy. Eh? Go back and stay with mommy. Eh? I know a particular individual that decided to build a piece of a piece of the, the parents' house. They decide, okay, you know what? Let me build a little piece extra on the side of the house. The parents them agree. They build a little extra, so you have his daughter go in and come up. And all that, thing. that is the level you have to reach, brothers and sisters. When you can't make it, you have to try your best to see if you can make a little extension on your parents' home. Hmm. Your rent might be a thousand dollars, maybe eight hundred dollars, maybe seven hundred dollars, maybe seven fifty. But I want to live just seven fifty. Hmm. No, other than that. Yeah, they are rent for eight hundred dollars and nine hundred dollars and a thousand dollars. You know, imagine making a thousand four. Brothers and sisters, more than half your money gone we. Hmm. Thousand three hundred five dollars to be seven fifty correct. As I mean seven fifty, we'll be left with five hundred and fifty five dollars. If I'm wrong guys, correct me in the comment section. No, you're left with a total with five hundred and fifty five dollars. You have to pay your utility bills. Hmm utility bills that already gone up so you have to pay an, an, an additional on on fee on on the water bill your electricity bill gone up you know if you have a little small business trying to do a little something you have to pay a hundred dollars on your water bill plus the electrical bill again that is all your boy boy internet 120 dollars hmm. so that's 120 dollars i think is the lowest one is the lowest one or you can correct me Left. And your no. water bill and all those kind of things there. Water bill, let's say water bill might be a hundred. Electrical bill. Only four forty-five. You have to pay your light. The light bill might be a hundred dollars. <clears throat> well, you don't need light, no. <laughs> you don't need no light. But like three forty-five left. Your water bill might be oh the oh, this is fifty dollars, fifty sixty dollars. You have to put the fifty dollars on that. Sixty dollars. So you left three forty five minus sixty. So this is just keep in mind this is what she's saying these things this is not money you get yet you know this is money that already you make your salary and that is money that will be going out you know that is money that will already be going out you don't get in that money you don't touch you don't see that money that money gone hmm. 75 mathematics if I run, don't blame me. I just call you off my mind. Like, all you see, I'm calculating off my mind. Okay, not to blame me for my calculation. But I'm trying to still track a lot. So that's to tell you, when Scared was giving his details and all those kind of things, you can save $200 and when you, you broke and buy groceries for $50. <laughs> 
<laughs> go and buy groceries for fifty dollars, brothers and sisters. Very interesting how scary calculates that stuff, eh? And somebody made a right comment in that regard. It seems like scary is trying to tell people how to adapt to the present salary that is already poor. While he himself has increased their salaries by 30-40%. It's very interesting when you look at this stuff, you know. The man that increased their salaries is telling the people that our salaries have not been... I, well, it may be increased, you know, because I think it was $500 before. And it went, no, or $700. Well, there is some people. Keep in mind, it's not everybody. It's some individuals. So far less for the individuals are making less. Far less for the individuals are making seven, six hundred dollars she talking about a thousand four right now she on 275 dollars if that 265 whatever she stated right there 200 and something dollars on a thousand four hundred dollars that you don't touch the money you don't touch that is it's like you're working just to pay bills because it's almost past, it's almost past this week. i should just track right so you have um 275 to work with remember you don't pay your groceries as yet hmm. You don't pay gas. Well, you have to forget about gas, we forget that. <laughs> you have a vehicle, put that down, boy. Go and ride bicycle instead. Put a little trolley at the back and have a horn peep peep with some lights, flashlight on your bicycle. And yeah, that's how Dominica apparently want to come or donkey. Well, donkey scarce now, <laughs> you know. Man would ride the donkey, put the cat, and you know, boop boop, go from Postmo to Pebush riding donkey, you know. Oh, that's not the case now, donkey. I hear people, bush people, and do that people eat only donkey. I don't know if that is, is what I, when I was growing that, that's what I used to hear. You haven't put money aside for purse. Hmm. You might have two children or a child. Hmm. You have money. Don't make children now. You just carry the other day. Go and make children. It raining, but what are you doing? It's raining, what are you doing? Scary thing children come from heaven. The, the, the supplies coming down from heaven, man. <laughs> you see, don't make children with these supplies, Gaza. Or you think you can make the children drink bush milk? Huh? Or you grind in the bush to make water and make them drink? You think it's so? Okay then. It's like a snack yet. How are you going to survive for a month? And that is only $1,400 she's talking about general expenses right there so in other words you have to do away with 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 internet born modern times you <laughs> know the society doesn't give you that privilege forget internet you have to um what else you say well you, you have to pay social security and rent i think rent is, is one rent and also rent increasing as well rent has been increasing i remember one particular one was helping with a budget um, back in the day, man, that girl was heavily in debt, man. She went to school and tried to do things, come back Dominica, nothing, what, not really, we can afford her and what, blah, blah, blah. And I helped her budget and all these kind of things there. And it seems like every every cycle there was increasing the rent a bit. Not by much, but still a bit. And her salary wasn't increasing. You know? So it's very interesting when you look at, 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 at these times. I swear it was America, we was. Oh. How are you going to survive for the month? On two hundred and seventy-five dollars, you have you may have two children to take care of, hmm. or one to take care of. Worst again, if you are single parent. Hmm. And you by yourself. All my single ladies, all my single ladies. Oh, I don't want a man making twenty thousand dollars a month. No, not me. I talking about in Dominica. I don't want a man making twenty thousand dollars. I don't. I don't that. No, yeah. When you making probably you making fifteen thousand dollars not a month no a year you probably making fifteen thousand dollars a year and you making twenty thousand dollars a year you don't think if that combined will make thirty five thousand dollars a year you don't think and then sp splitting this stuff would help instead of paying two light bills you have one light bill to pay don't you think that would be that would be ideal I don't think people understand these things. One of the things when you understand the rich brothers and sisters how they operate you notice that a lot of rich people are getting married not true. The reason why they get married, brothers and sisters, is to collaborate. Collaborate and make children. Children have the best advantage within marriage rather than single homes. I was just thinking of the story I did yesterday. I think I might want to clarify some, some of the things. I'll do that at the end of this video soon. No, I'll do that in, 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 in the next reaction. So you guys will keep it locked on that vibrations right there. So t stay tuned. Oh. How are you going to say bye? For 
and if you're looking at upskilling brothers and sisters when you look at the different businesses in dominica and, and the, the the ability to make or, or to grow career wise brothers and sisters sometimes i don't think we are careers in dominica we are jobs the jobs that you get to do you better stay there because if you decide you're going to leave i what am i what are my people them every time i go up states is she in a different job she maybe she don't like the the, the employer maybe she don't like those people she working with she live in she don't like the employer she live in if she don't like the environment she she live in she just go and she getting all that job it's quickly she getting jobs you know too she just live in that and go somewhere else to have another one in the corporate world that decide ah i do my time here man <laughs> i do my time she's been about what four or five years in a company i do my time man let me go to an next job <laughs> just like that right? the girl garage and she have a good skill set just move into another place you think you can do that in dominica brothers and sisters if you get a job that paying a thousand four hundred that is your retire that is till your retirement <laughs> that is till you retire we. boy you mad because if you leave a job in dominica brothers and sisters and you say let me go and see if i can boy it's a possibility you'll be able to find another one you know but it's very very difficult I remember a particular uh, girl in, in from from Ross. She was making good money in Ross. You know, they last they make Ross go. Thanks, thanks, thanks for scary for doing that. Anyways, she was making a lot of money in Ross, man. I was going to call her sorry, but let me leave that. She was making over three grand, brothers and sisters. Okay, let's just, let's let's leave let's leave it that there. Making over three grand, she happy, everything working nice and dandy, saving up, get to do things here and there, travel, blah, 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 and still having a good life in that regard. Right there, that was, that was back in the day, okay? After Ross left, after, you know, scared them, you know, their leadership caused Ross to leave, she decided, okay, you know what, let me see if I can find another job somewhere. No, she did get a few jobs because of her skill set, she was able to get a few jobs. But the salaries that they were giving, she say, Awa, I cannot come from there and go there to do the same thing I was doing there, to do there, and I get in more than a half off. Nah, ma, she check in Awa, she cannot do that. So she stayed out for at least a good nine months, I think, nine, nine, ten months around there. And then when the pressure hold and she seen her savings going down from where it was before to things, she just decided, you know what, boy, Mr. Lex boy, it is what it is, man. I just have to take what I get. She tried her best to apply to a number of places. Um, a few of them reached out to her. Uh, but the salary she was asking for, she said if she could make at least, you know, two-thirds of what she was making in Ross. Basic, that's base. Because some in oh, Ross was giving us over time and all those kind of things. They want base. You know, if you could she could make two-thirds base of what she was making before, she would settle for it. She never got it. Right now, she barely making almost half what she used to make. With no overtime. She had to settle for it, brothers and sisters. She had to settle for it. So, uh, sometimes when you have a job in Dominica, you just have to stick there. Because <clears throat> the economy not doing well. And people know. And the thing is, people know the economy not doing well. You know, They know it not doing well. Yet still, when election come, it's a party. So, they are all over the place. Yeah. They're not thinking of their future, they're thinking of the present party that they get to enjoy. And then they're going foolishly in the polls and voting. Although I do believe that majority of individuals in Dominica are wanting a change. But of course, you know, of the chartered flights and all this, the boats are coming in during that time. When hundreds of people are coming into Dominica, who live outside of Dominica, coming to tilt the scale. My problem here is, yes, that is a problem, but my problem is still that there are people in Dominica knowing that this is happening and they're still going to vote for the very thing that oppressing them. Anyways, let's continue. Oh! You're a single parent, you're not trained for your child, you're not taking care of your children, you're not taking care of your child. As for that, sir, ladies, let me tell you something now. Please, my, I beg you. <sighs> I was having a conversation with a, a girl I met in Saint Saint Kitts um, um, when I went last time. By the way, guys, hopefully in the future, let me leave that alone. No, you'll see for yourself. <laughs> um, but I was having a conversation and she was trying to find out the dynamic between male and female and all those kind of things. There, blah blah blah. And she was talking, having a nice conversation, you know, chit chat or whatever. Brothers and sisters, and she, we 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 ended up on the conclusion that 
some of the decisions that women tend to make is not on the basis of what is good for them just like how dominica is not on the basis of what is good for them but because of the present dopamine brothers and sisters they get the present dopamine of being with the wrong set of fellas and when they end up with the wrong set of fellas because of the charisma and the, the confidence that they get to see and these things wow them they realize that hey these guys might not be good for them because there's no elevation you just get to have fun and when they end up in certain circumstances who is to blame ask her a question who is to blame she tell me it's the men why 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 the men that didn't, i don't know but you have the choice to don't go with these guys that you know not good for you i remember talking to a girl in, in um with her parents i just met them you know just met them my partner was staying by them i went and, and, and link up with him and then he brought me over to 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 their house and yeah they had a, um the the people he was staying with they had a beautiful absolutely beautiful daughter and she ended up breaking up with the guy and all those kind of things and in talking i just open up the floodgates man <laughs> hey open up the floodgates talking to her you know and with the parents there and sometimes the parents reveal certain things that she herself never knew about the parents and it's like wow what's going on all those kind of new things and in talking to her about her relationship she tell me her relationship was toxic i tell her you saw the i don't know the girl you know i told her you saw the red flags and you ignore them you know this guy was not good for you and you ignored it it's not him that was the problem, it was you. And her parents agreed with me. <laughs> White people are talking about there. White people. And her parents agreed with me. Yes, you ignored them. Then she was a little hesitant. Then later on, she finally agreed. Yes, she saw the red flags. Today she's married with a guy that's really good for her and those kind of things. Yes, she learned. Sometimes some individuals don't even learn what is happening to them. But because of the charisma and the the the, the, the the, the 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 thing that the the the, the, the spunk the, don't get me wrong and i'm not saying go for guys that have no charisma and no spunk <laughs> i'm saying go with guys that are principal if you go with guys that don't have principal what you expect to happen to you reminds me of the same situation i was talking about yesterday i'll go in a little more in more in deta detail in that that vibrations right there brothers so keep it locked on that one right there anyways let's continue yes, how are you going to survive out of $275 for a month? You do have $275, you know, you have other expenses. You just give the basic general expenses of money that will already vanish from you. That's what you gave. So you have $275 for you to spend now. And that self, you have groceries to buy, you have all sorts of things to do, travel, all those things that to get. By the time the money have free, you have, let's say, 30 days, generally speaking, 30 days in the month to use $275. Boy, you're mad. And we're talking about um, insurance you have to pay for if you have vehicles and all those kind of things, the health insurance, medical insurance, all those kind of things that you have to do to, to think. Sometimes, brothers and sisters, is a prayer and a will you have, we? Gasa. The will to do, God eat fruits so you don't get sick. That is something else. Really. Me, brothers, is wish I go states. I don't want to never see hospital either. What? Never see hospital. I know an individual that went to hospital just for a minor thing and I had to put down seven thousand dollars. We seven thousand dollars. Hey, minor thing that they mark you. X-ray and some other things. What are you trying to eat? What are you trying to eat? Hmm. Or are you going to pay bus? So when I say Dominica, I have a lot of people suffering from depression, anxiety, they're frustrated. Yep. You see the reason why I say that? Mm-hmm, absolutely. Because people making salaries, they don't have living wages. You see the reason why I say that? Your monthly expenses doesn't meet up with your monthly salary. They don't add up. They just cannot add up. And month after month, it will the same thing. Boy, month after month after month after month, 12 months pass, 24 months pass, 3 years pass, 4 years, 5 years, election time, they're going back and vote for the same thing. You have to buy clothes for your children, or clothes for your children. You have the money to buy the clothes. Hmm. 
sometimes a child may a child get sick. Hmm. It's because she's a doctor. But she might be because she's a doctor. Oh, man. You have to go for scary for him to pay the bill, we. Can you imagine Brother and Sister's financial center? Man was going to scare it financial center. That's what I heard the Brother and Sisters. Man was going to financial center for them to pay the electrical bill we to get money for health. All these things man cannot do on their own things you're supposed to be able to do on your own. Working proper jobs and these things, brothers and sisters. Even if you work a proper job in Dominica, I know some individuals working proper jobs. And alas, alas we Ela. Dominicans is a harsh reality. Take it or leave it is the harsh reality. Well, love reality. Please leave your comments in the comment section. Give your views there and your opinion. What you think about it? Let me know. Yes. Tell me if I'm lying yes. or if I'm speaking the truth. I'll post this video in the description below so you guys can check it out directly. So if you want to leave your comments on her video, then you can do so. If you want to leave your comments down there, most likely she will see the video, brothers and sisters. She will definitely see this video. So if you want to leave your comments in the comment box below, guys, let me know your thoughts. What are your thoughts on the whole situation involving Dominica's salaries, brothers and sisters? Generally speaking, eh? The odd one out, brothers and sisters, are those who live in a little better. They're still on the problems. <laughs> I know they're still under problems, brothers and sisters, but they live a little better. Those are making the general income, brothers and sisters, about a thousand, a thousand two hundred, brothers and sisters. If you can make a thousand four, okay, you're at least getting to, to have a little something. Maybe you can save a fifty dollars or something of that sort. You know, when when I did the the, the, the my 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 peeps own last night, um, these were the basic stuff that we we, we were looking at. And then she had the general uh, spending ability and these things there. But the saving stuff, anyways, all you, all you probably wouldn't know what I talk about, anyways. But yeah, it's rather interesting when you look at it. Anyways, brothers and sisters, I'll post this video in the description below so you guys can check it out. And also let me know your comments in the comment box below, right there. Tune in for the next one a bit later on today. I'll break down what I pretty much was talking about yesterday, as well as a number of other things in that regard. Anyways, about Mr. Licks on this year, Mr. Licks reaction, guys. The very first one, tune in for the second one. First comment in the comment box below, guys. And of course, check out BRBBTV for the electoral reform vibrations. Of course, once again, brothers and sisters, be real. Click the like button and of course, subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get the latest vibrations as they tend to come through. Solid the king. Yes, sir. Be positive.